and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys today. I'm gonna be going over coin method for you guys. Now, more than likely, you guys are probably seeing this while I'm not home. Like I said, I pre-recorded a bunch of videos, and so I am leaving for a week to Spain. I'm probably here at the moment that you guys are watching this, but I did pre-record it for you guys. You guys had some nice method to do while I was gone. Now, I mean, there's also a chance I've just posted it in the next two days while I'm still here, but who knows? We'll find out when uh, it goes up. But this method, I did not create. I did come from my boy, Doghouse Gaming. Go check him out. I'll leave his link down in the description. He was one of the guys when I first started YouTube. Helped me out, believed in me a little bit, so... Always got to give back. Quick, before we get into the video, guys, if you aren't into the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Can we get to 20K by the end of February? The grind's got to start now if we're ever going to make it. We're 3K away. I think we can do it. I think personally we're going to hit it, but let's keep grinding, boys. Let's keep growing. Comment down below if you need any help on this method towards the end of this video, and as well as like the video. Can we get 500 likes on this video, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. You guys have been going crazy with the like button lately. The more you guys are crazy with the like button, the more this channel is going to grow. So keep it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this method. If you need any help, DM me directly on Twitter or in the comment section down below. And if I don't get to this right away, it's because I am on vacation, like I told you guys. So work with me here. All right, guys. Enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys get down below. Check out his, uh, check out his link. Sub subscribe to him. Check him out. Show some support. And yeah, pretty much it. So let's get into this method. So this method is pretty complex. Honestly, got to give him some props for this. I don't know where he found it, but this is it's pretty complex. Not like not like crazy complex, but the math was complex. Like what you have to do is gonna be really simple, but the math behind it to know that this was profitable. Pretty pretty smart if I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna give you guys a little run around here of how it's gonna work. So first you're gonna come over to exchange sets. And you're going to go to the these three exchange sets right here. For these four. So this is a mixture of a binder clean out on top of making coins. So this is a method without the stuff in your binder, but if you happen to have binder stuff, it becomes even cheaper for you. So essentially what you want is a bunch of 80 to 82 overall players. So this is how the method starts. First of all, I recommend you um you convert your 69 or your 66s and 69s overalls. Oh, 62, 65 into 66, 69 overalls. Convert as many as you can. You convert them at two a piece to get one. Once you build up enough, then come over to 70, 74 and convert as many as you can here to 70, 74s. And then keep going, convert as many as you can to 75, 79s. And then eventually you convert these into elite players. You need six. So here's the math on this. Each gold player you can about get, well, each gold player in general that you get from these are just, you know, from your binder, just what it is. So those are just kind of like extra coins for binder cleanout. But if you have to go ahead and buy them, if you don't have them done already, it's going to be about a little over a thousand, but you can easily snipe them. I'm telling you guys, you can snipe out these golds for below a thousand coins. So what I would recommend is, you guys go to the block, filter them out. I'll show you guys that as we get into the video, but you want to filter them out. You can get them for about like 900 to 1,000 coins each time, which will cost about 6K per, and all these elite cards go for a little over 6 anyway, so you're already making a profit. Now, here's where the here's where there's, a, there's like a tiny like Easter egg amount of profit here. So, while doing this method, sometimes you're going to be able to pull a platinum card quick sell. So, right there, you make a ton of profit, but that's just extra. That's just a cherry on top. That isn't even the method. So, just remember that. If you get a regular elite player, that's fine. That's all you need. But if you do happen to pull a platinum player, all the better. You guys should be happy about that. If you, I believe that if it's anywhere between 80 to 82, it could be like 10, 15, 20K. I don't know if it goes up to 30K. I don't believe it does, but I could be wrong. Or does it start at... No, maybe it starts at 18K. So maybe it goes 18, like 25, 30. I'm not entirely sure. But you guys, you guys probably remember. Or you'll see when you get it. So once you build up as many elites as you can... Well, I'll give you guys a recommended amount. We're going to have to come over to this. So... You could also do an archive. You could do the Mud Heroes and exchange them there for a similar. Where's the exchange stuff for the Mud Heroes? You could also do the 80 to 81. But I feel like the Elite Player is a little bit easier. It gives you a chance at a Platinum Quick Sell. So that's probably the route that I ended up going. Now, once you have all those Elites, you're going to come over to the Zero Chill set. Now, to come over to Zero Chill, you're going to go all the way down to the Gingerbread Man collectibles. Now, every two Elite Players you put in for 80 to 82 earns one Gingerbread Man. Now, if you really want to try to be profitable here, you only have to put in 80 elite. So unless you, you could just put in the 80s that you pull from the, the set, and you could also just sell your 82, 81s. If they're that big of a difference in value, I don't know the exact difference. But we'll check that out in a second. But you want to collect gingerbread men. So each two gets you approximately one gingerbread man. And a regular 80 over elite goes for like 7k, 6k. So you have to imagine that the math on this would pretty much be it would cost you about 12k with a good price for an elite per gingerbread token. And you're gonna end up using these gingerbread tokens to get Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson only costs you three gingerbread. So it'll cost you essentially, if it costs you about 12K per gingerbread man collectible, 
That means it costs you about 36k because it's times three for each Adrian Peterson. You're gonna need three Adrian Peterson, so it's gonna cost you about a hundred, like it's gonna cost you about a hundred hundred K. A little over hundred K. You don't have to go much over as long as you guys snipe the right prices. Obviously, it all comes down to what price you get them for, all what you end up doing it for. Now, remember, this is the math if you do it through you buy the cards. If you're doing them through the set, you're probably getting them a lot cheaper if you're converting them and stuff. So you probably have to imagine them probably about 30k per. So it costs you about 90k for the AP. Now, once you get the eight, the three APs, you're gonna put them into the 92 to 94 overall exchange zero chill set. You put in three APs, and then you end up getting back a random 92 to 94 overall. So let's go check out the market. So you're spending about 90k give or take. If you get the right price, then you do the exchanges that I gave you guys initially. So let's go over to the market so you guys can get an idea for what the price is looking like. So before we go check out the actual price for the 92 to 94s, remember that if you go over to quality, we want to go check out the elites to see what they're exactly going for. So you can't really filter them too well when it comes to base elites, but you can see they go for about like 8k, probably filter about 7 to 6k, probably around 7 to 6k. Now 82s probably do go for a slight amount more. So if you really wanted to like to be smart here, you could also take your 82s, sell them individually if they're going for above 10k, sell those individually, and then just use the 80s and 81s you pull as part of the set. That's one thing you do. Now the 1994s. So remember, you can pull 92 to 93. Just go to zero chill. That's the first thing you can pull. I don't know if Ghost of Madden and all those guys apply. As of now, I only know that the zero chill cards apply. So base, the worst card you could pull is 113. So after reduction and everything, you still end up making a little over like 13k. A little over 13k. That's after reduction. If you get the worst thing. Next, you can get a 93, which is Marlon Humphrey, Mark Speeders being the worst one. So here you make at least at minimum, you end up making a little over like 30k. That's bad. Like that's that's uh, these are still still bad pulls. Now remember, you can still get like a Deshaun Jackson starting at like 154. That's like 40k made right there. Derwin James, that's like 70k made. So and now remember, there's still good ones too. Now there's a 94, 95 you can still pull. Well, you can't get 95, only 94s. If you get McCaffrey, you're making a little over 100,000 coins. You get Cameron Jordan, a little over 100,000 coins. You get Jason Kelsey, like 110,000 coins. You get, I think that's it. I think that's that's all. The rest are all 95s. But you guys get the point. Essentially, the way this thing works is that at worst you're getting like 10k, and at best you're getting like 110k. So it's pretty much risk free. This method really does work. I have to start, I'm gonna start doing it, but the issue is with, I hate binder cleaning, and the issue is with my binder cleaning is that I've been saving a lot of these cards for like some, some maybe positional heroes at some point in the year, which they haven't, did. I don't think they did last year, but I always get screwed with it. And I wanna be able to do that content when it comes out, so I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with that. I might just end up buying these players myself. And like I said, the math will be cheaper if you actually go and exchange the players, but it won't be cheaper. It, it's not as cheap as if you did the exchange, but if you buy the players, it'll be a little more expensive. But as I showed you there, it could still be profitable. If you get every elite card for a little under, like if you sit there and you get them for like 900, 900 coins each, you need six, so that's 900 times six, and you have to do that three times. So wait, right, it's 900 times six for one elite, you need three. So that's like 16 per HP times three. It really just, it, it depends on how you end up doing the math, how you end up getting the cards for, obviously. But like I said, if you come to zero chill, and you go over to gingerbread man you come over to ap it does it's three overall collect uh, gingerbread and you need three gingerbread man so each elite you get them for about 5k each worth of uh cards takes two it's about 10k per it could, and it could be as cheap as 30k if you get them for about 900 each so 30k per you get them for 90k that's a great value now if you exchange it it could still even be cheaper like if you guys have enough stuff in your binder you could probably do a few of these for just free and that could even mean like a few hundred K for free that you didn't even know you had in your binder. It's a great way to convert. So it's either a binder cleaning method or just a regular coin making method. You wanna go the route of picking up the elite yourself. It is a really solid method. I'd imagine that if you did this, you could probably knock this out not too long. Probably like, I'd imagine you could do this about once every 30 minutes if you have to like clean out the exchanges. If you're just buying them probably a little quicker, but if you're exchanging it and you have to do all that, probably like, oh, if you're buying actually you have to snipe. So probably 30 minutes each, no matter how you look at it. So you probably do this about twice an hour for, I'd, I'd say on average about hundred K an hour really not bad if you did this for like eight straight hours you could probably end up with like 800k that's really good people are like oh it takes too long would you rather play the game for two months a weekend league and only save up like 500k or would you rather play this for eight hours straight or just an hour a day and just pick up 800k for free that's just my takeaway when people say coin making methods take a little bit like if it was that easy everyone would be doing it. if it was like just click a and you get 800,000 coins everyone would be doing it this might take a little bit of effort and a little bit of work around all the lazy people are going to click off and won't do it but the guys who aren't lazy will do it they'll make their coins and they'll be happy they did Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys have any variations to this, comment down below. I know sometimes I have viewers who are like, oh, I do the same thing, but I do this slightly different to make more coins. Comment down below, help out the community, or DM me directly, and I'll see if I can work around this the next time we do this. Just let me know down below. It always helps when you guys get feedbacks on these methods because it always, it always can help if we have like, maybe there's a variation that can make us a lot more coins. And right, guys, before we head out of this video, remember, 
Shout out to my boy Doghouse Gaming. Big help on this. Comment down below. Say what's up to him. As well as there will be a link for his channel in the description. So make sure you're going there. You're showing some love. You're showing some support. And go give him, go share some love to his channel. Go check out his method. Drop a like on it. Now guys, if you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. We're trying to grow. We're trying to grind to 20k by the end of February. The Spain trip threw a little wrench in that, but we'll see if we can still get it. Comment down below. If you need any help on this method and like the video, can we get 500 likes in this video? You guys have been going crazy with the like button lately, and that's attributed to one of the best weeks on YouTube I've ever had. So let's keep it going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.